Erica was driving on the outskirts of the city when Monica, who was accompanying her, saw Erica throw a trash bag out the window. She tried to be hidden from view. Since Monica was aware that her daughter had been acting strangely for some time, she wondered if the contents of the trash bag might provide some insight into what she had been doing. But as Monica approached the bag, she suddenly caught sight of the trash bag moving. When Monica noticed the motion, she stepped back. She wasn't even certain if this wasn't just something she imagined. There was no doubt in her mind, though. Once it kept happening, something was inside of that bag. As she drew nearer and attempted to carefully open the bag, her hands began to tremble. She wanted to get away from this bag more than anything, but her curiosity simply outweighed that desire. She simply had to be aware of what her daughter was doing. Monica was unable to do anything but scream for help when she finally managed to open the bag and look inside. She had just caught her daughter with something strange and couldn't believe it. And to make matters worse, Monica knew precisely when their relationship had taken a terrible turn for the worse. However, Monica felt that there wasn't much she could do to fix it. Her hands were tied in this situation, and that was a result of the rift's original cause, her divorce from her now ex-husband. The truth is that Monica had a difficult time explaining to her daughter that their marriage had been in trouble for a long time. Monica and her ex-husband had both experienced a lot of changes and barely got along anymore. They decided to remain married only for the benefit of their young daughter. However, despite their agreement, the situation became far too taxing to continue the act. Since their divorce, Monica and her ex-husband have shared custody equally. Therefore, Erica would visit her father only on weekends. But Monica noticed that her daughter seemed to grow withdrawn and more quiet every time she returned from one of those weekends, always choosing to keep to herself. Monica was downstairs on a cold night. She had worked long hours the past three days but was far too anxious to get any rest. She decided to drink some hot cocoa and read a book till she fell asleep. That was when she heard a strange noise. At first, Monica could only think one thought. It could be a ghost. But then, she shook her head, reminding herself that Erica was home that weekend. She explored the house searching for someone, but to her dismay there was no sign of anyone. Now Monica was concerned she could not check Erica's room because her daughter kept the door shut, and if she were to barge in and disturb Erica, she would only make their relationship worse. Monica decided she would test her suspicions before making any final decisions. Unfortunately, night after night the same thing would occur. There would be footsteps around the house and suddenly everything would go quiet. Now Monica had proof something was indeed happening, but she still couldn't confront Erica without solid evidence. Monica decided she would do some more detective work, and to her surprise, she got a lucky break. After a few nights of observing Erica's movements at night, Monica knew her daughter would be up at 2 o'clock. She listened quietly as Erica opened her room door and snuck through the house once more. This time, Erica had taken the front door since Monica had chosen to stay in her room. Monica debated confronting her daughter then, but instead, she found herself taking in the scene. Setting her light to dim so that she wouldn't alarm Erica, Monica peered through her window which stood above the parking spots. She watched as her daughter walked slowly to the car, obviously making great pains to not set off the street sensor lights. Finally, she got in and drove away slowly. Erica would not return for another two hours. Monica was frantic. Now there was truly no doubt about what she had been hearing every night. Erica had been sneaking out at odd hours of the night. She could feel a mix of emotions flood her body. There was worry, anger, and confusion. What had her daughter been up to when she left the house so late in the day? Finally, after hours of watching from her window, she spotted Erica drive back in. Monica was aghast and beside herself. It had been over two hours since her daughter had snuck out. The relief she felt from seeing Erica pull up to the driveway looking unharmed was swiftly trumped by the growing anger in her mind. But Monica didn't have time to deal with that because this time Erica had returned with something in her hands. Monica had turned off the lamplight by now. She didn't want to alert Erica to the fact that she knew what she was doing. However, this made it very difficult to make out just what her daughter was holding. But if she could make a guess, it looked like a trash bag. Somehow, Monica was only left with more unanswered questions. Monica was terrified. All she wanted to do in that moment was to march over to Erica's room and let her know she had been spying on her and demand she tell her what was truly going on. But even as the comforting scene played in her mind, she knew that it was out of the question. If she did that, her daughter would be lost to her forever. 
Monica took a deep breath. She would have to come up with a more concrete plan, one that would not lead to further estrangement from her daughter. For now, she would have to keep her discovery to herself, but that didn't mean she was giving up. In fact, she was more determined than ever to figure out what strange things were happening under her roof. The following night was incredibly troubling. Monica found herself unable to go to bed, her mind filled with thoughts of what could be held in the mysterious trash bag. Monica was so conflicted and determined to solve the mystery that she did something she hadn't done in months. She called her ex-husband. Monica asked him if he had noticed anything strange about their daughter in the past few months when she went to visit him. But, like most of their conversations in the past few years, it turned into an argument. Her ex-husband was irritated and angry. He accused Monica of trying to limit his already short visiting times and insisted that Erica was behaving perfectly fine. Monica found herself arguing back and forth with her ex as they both began to debate what was truly best for Erica. Ten minutes into the fight, Monica shook her head. Calling her ex-husband had been a mistake. There was no way she could share what she had witnessed without him using it against her for custody. Monica hung up the phone. She was now running out of options. Until... Two days later, luck would shine on Monica once more. This time she was sitting in the living room when she heard Erica yell from the other side of their home that she would be leaving the house. Monica peeked through the window and to her surprise, she saw that Erica was holding the trash bag. Monica could not stop herself. She felt her body move of its own will. This would be her only chance to get to the bottom of what was truly going on with her daughter. Turning on her daughter's location with the Find Your Phone feature, Monica waited a few minutes before trailing her. But what she would find was something even she hadn't truly imagined. Monica knew it was the right decision to turn on the Find My iPhone feature on her daughter's phone. This way, she can locate her now that she needs it. She didn't want to look at it before because she thought it was a breach of privacy, but she had no choice now. Monica started her car and connected her phone to her navigation, but when she looked at where her daughter was, she got shocked. She drove very far, very quickly. She was definitely in a hurry, but why? Monica raced after her daughter and eventually managed to catch up to her. She was now only three cars behind her daughter, and her heart was racing. But then, something happened. When Monica was getting closer to Erica, she started to slow down. The daughter slowed nearly to a stop and threw something out of her window. It landed on the emergency lane right before a turn, and Monica was able to stop directly in front of it. Erica was far gone when Monica stopped on the side of the road. She stepped out of her car and slowly walked toward the object. She abruptly stopped when she noticed something. Monica recognized that the object was actually a trash bag. Why would her daughter throw this bag in the middle of nowhere? She was thinking about what could be in the trash bag when her question suddenly answered itself. Out of nowhere, Monica saw the trash bag move. She screamed in shock and couldn't believe what had just happened. She stood still and stared at the bag to see if it would do it again, and it did. What was happening? What could possibly be inside that bag? Monica was too scared to look inside, so she slowly picked up the bag and put it in her trunk. Once back inside her car, she sighed. What could she do now? She drove home with the bag still rustling in the back of her car. It gave her chills, thinking there could be something alive in there. She thought of a way to tell her daughter what she had found without alarming her, but this was all just too ridiculous. When Monica returned home, she saw her daughter's car was already in the driveway. She felt angry and frustrated that her daughter would sneak around behind her back and bitter because she was drawn into the strange situation. Monica sat in silence before being mentally ready to leave her car and confront her daughter. She left the trash bag in her trunk and walked as calmly as possible through the door, but she snapped at what her daughter said next. Erica arrogantly asked her mother where she had been all this time. She was hungry and wondered when they would have dinner. Monica froze for a second. This arrogant question was the last straw for Monica. Monica immediately confronted her daughter about sneaking out of the house at night. Of course, Erica felt ambushed, and she denied everything. But she didn't know what was inside her mother's trunk. They got into a heated argument, and both started yelling at each other when Monica ordered her daughter to follow her outside. Monica walked to her car and opened her trunk. Erica immediately turned pale at the sight of the bag. The bag was moving inside Monica's trunk, and she demanded an explanation from her daughter. But all Erica could do was stare in silence at the bag. 
Why was she so scared? What was she hiding from her own mother? Monica then grabbed the bag and brought it inside. She dropped it on the floor, but it made a strange sound. She was sure she had heard this before, almost as if there was something pretty heavy inside. She looked at her daughter confusingly, but realized she had no intention of opening the bag anytime soon. So Monica took matters into her own hands and reached for the bag when suddenly her daughter yelled at her to stop. Stop! Monica looked at her daughter in shock. What is going on, Erica? Erica then kicked the bag to the side, but something rolled out of it. Monica screamed when she realized what it was. How could she do this? Erica, how could you? Is that a baby? She quickly ran to the kitchen to grab a towel and carefully picked up the little baby when she realized what was actually going on. Monica looked at the baby in her hands. It physically looked like a baby, but it felt like something else. She then looked at her daughter and noticed she had a slight grin on her face. Monica became even angrier at her daughter. You will tell me everything right now, Monica demanded to her daughter. Erica finally looked like she was defeated and sat down on the couch. Monica put the baby on the table and sat next to her daughter. That isn't really a baby, Mom, she began. And you're right, she continued. I have been sneaking in and out of the house, but I have a good reason. Monica looked at her daughter, but didn't respond yet. She wanted to hear the whole story. This is all an experiment for my biology class. We had to take care of a baby to pass a test, but it all got a little out of hand. Erica looked at her mother, waiting for an answer, but Monica was stunned. This doesn't explain sneaking out of the house, Monica answered. Erica looked at the ground. Well, she said, the boy I got paired up with to care for the baby is actually my boyfriend. Monica looked at her daughter in shock. Boyfriend? How could she not know about this? Her daughter had been sneaking around to meet with her boyfriend. She couldn't believe what she was hearing. Monica grounded her daughter for a week and then set up a dinner to meet Erica's boyfriend. He turned out to be a good kid, and Monica approved of their relationship.